Oh. Right there is the Golden Bears signature Jack Nicholas. That is so cool. Thank you so much for sitting. Well, that's good. Oh, world's <laughs> greatest putter star to some. Whoa. Oh, really I have wow. literally never seen. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back. We have an unboxing for you to say the least. I think this is our biggest by far. Yeah, this is definitely our biggest unboxing yet. It's actually our second trip up to the uh, PO box. We had to go two weeks ago. He called us. He's like, you guys are taking yeah. up too much space. He called us again today. And please take all these boxes. Yeah, we've uh, definitely got some stuff for uh, an unboxing to say the least. Thank you guys once again to everybody who sends us stuff, who watches the channel. We're getting close to 50 thousand subscribers something we never thought was gonna yeah, happen that is not a number that ever <laughs> crossed my mind so thank you guys for the support we're just gonna unbox everything here and then we'll uh, head out to the golf course and test everything out but these videos are always fun can't yeah. wait to see what you guys sent us this time all right let's get started off with a first yes. <laughs> when we first started uh, doing the uh, unboxings well before we did the unboxing we put yeah. our uh, address in the description of the videos and said if you want to send us postcards here's our address yeah and these are our first postcards our sixth unboxing Usually we get like a bunch of fancy golf clubs, which, which is, is yeah, awesome too. Yeah, which is awesome too, but I really like postcards. Uh, so <laughs> let's start off with this one, actually a scorecard, yeah, that's which is cool kind idea. of a uh, clever to use as a uh, postcard. This one is from Charlie in, I think that's California. Yep. Uh, yep. Charlie from California. He has a collection of scorecards and uh, he's played golf in Florida. His favorite courses are Grand Cypress and Raptor Bay, and he loves the channel. Well, thank you, Charlie, for sending yeah. us our, well, we got these all at the same time, but you can be the honorary first. Well, you'll be the first person that sent us a scorecard. There you go. There you go. Charlie is the first for that. <laughs> you got some scorecard or uh, postcards? Yeah, two postcards from Steve in Roanoke, West Virginia from the same course, Stonewall Resort. Looks really cool. Yeah. And this one says, you got a postcard. Yeah. So very excited about that <laughs> He was one. excited about sending us a postcard. He sent us a bunch of stuff in the uh, past. He sent you uh, Nike Mojo oh, golf yeah. balls. Oh, this is the Arnold Palmer course too. That's cool. Yep, Arnold Palmer. Oh yeah, there's a couple of Arnold Palmer courses around us that we really like. Yeah. So if we're ever in the area, you check know, out West Stonewall Virginia, we'll check Resort. them out. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then uh, this one, this is like a vintage or a replica. That's really cool. I think this is vintage or else it's like the world's best replica. <laughs> uh, this one is from Dave in Idaho. Here is an old golf uh, course about from about 1900. I enjoy your channel. It's from, uh, oh, St. Petersburg, went all the way to Idaho. <laughs> and then back to Florida. Yeah, back That's to cool. Florida. That is cool. Thank you, uh, Dave, for sending us. Yeah. That is probably the oldest postcard that is uh, in our collection. Yeah. This one is from Bob in Michigan. Sweet. Always like letters. <laughs> letters and postcards. I'm old fashioned. Uh, whoa, we got a uh, $50 gift card to Simply Golf Simulators and Instruction. That's cool in Sea Ranch Lakes, Florida. Well, they're in Florida? Yeah. Cool, it probably explains a little bit more in this letter that he sent. Let's see what Bob has to say. Uh, appears that he got sick last year and our videos helped him get through it. So that's awesome. Yeah. We just make them for fun, but. Glad it helps. Yeah, I'm glad it helps. So thank you, Bob. I'm glad that our channel is able to help and thank you for the uh, $50 yeah, gift much. card. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Always appreciate everything. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Let's check it out. Yep. All right, what else do we got next? I think we're moving on. We got big guys? Well, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> All right. This one is from Ray in Kentucky. Whoa, nice. not Nike Mojos. <laughs> and look. Oh, I an think IU golf ball. About the rivalry. IU golf ball. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, ca Old Capital Golf Club. That is pretty cool. Looks like Southern Indiana. Cool. Got a couple more IU golf balls, a bunch of logo golf balls. Oh, I see a Donald Ross course too. Nice. Which one is that? Um, it is the Donald Ross the course. The Donald in Ross. In French Lick. Oh, French Lick nice. at the, uh, the casino. <laughs> yeah, that's a really pretty yeah, course. Yeah, we went to the uh, the clubhouse there for like a breakfast mm -hmm. once. And that course was, it was Stunning. super foggy, but we what yeah, we saw was really awesome. Cool. <laughs> yeah, And we got a uh, uh, Indiana state outline. <laughs> nice. And the Legends, Indiana. I think that's a golf course in Southern Indiana. Uh, the Masters. Oh, nice. No uh, explanation needed there. There's something else and then, under there. What is this? I don't know. Slice. I'm going to say it's a box cutter. <laughs> I think there's a note though. What's up, guys? I came in to these golf balls. As soon as I saw them, I knew what to do with them. I hope you <laughs> like them, even though <laughs> even the Purdue one. Oh, we didn't even see that one. We have family yeah. to Purdue though. <laughs> yeah, the orange and black thing is a ceramic box cutter. 
<laughs> he's uh, accidentally cut himself with it. Uh, so, or cut himself with a regular one, and yeah. this one is supposedly a much safer option. We'll put that to the test. Yeah, that one's for me. <laughs> Keep up the great videos if you ever come to Louisville. Uh, yep, we go through Louisville all the time, yeah. so we'll definitely give you a ring. Ray, thank you so much for sending the uh, golf balls, even the Purdue one, <laughs> and a box cutter. <laughs> I need great. to like watch a YouTube video about that one yeah. first. That's pretty cool though, actually, because you probably can yeah. cut yourself. At first I thought it was a uh, golf ball oh, the thing that cuts openers? golf balls. Yeah, that would be, gotta get one of those. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Rick Shields golf review without cutting it open. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, wanna test? I don't think we need to test that on that guy. Alright, this one is from MV in uh, New York. Let's see what we got. No box cutter needed. No box cutter pure needed. Pure strength. Just pure fat man strength. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't take a knife to it. This yes. looks pretty delicate. <laughs> there we go. Whoa. Hey Stacked Golf, I'd like you to have this gift for your future Stacked Golf Museum. It's a pairings guide autograph by Jack Nicholas from Firestone Country Club in Akron, Ohio. I was a young lad when I approached the uh, Golden Bear as he was leaving the course. Love your videos, by the way. MV from NYC. It's between the foam core. Okay. So don't cut that. Yeah, de <laughs> definitely gotta be... Uh... Wow, that is so cool yeah. to send something from that important to you that you remember all of that. That's... We are definitely going to take good care of yes. this one. Well, everything, but you know what I mean. All right, we have successfully cut this open. <laughs> Hopefully, we did. Seventeen hours later. <laughs> yes, yeah, seventeen hours later. Whoa, that is Ooh, awesome! Wow. Look at that—the NEC World Series of Golf. That's before they had like the uh, what is it? The World. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> this is so cool. I almost don't want to like open it up. No. Right there is the Golden Bears signature, Jack Nicholas. That is so cool. Thank you so much for setting that. That's incredible. Yeah, this is a uh, true piece of uh, golfing history yes. right here. Definitely belongs in the Stacked Golf Museum. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> yeah. I want to open it. We'll open it carefully with like gloves on or something. Yes. I don't want to mess it up with the oil of my hands or something mm -mm. like that. But uh, that is awesome. MV, what is it? Yep, from New York. MV from New York. All right, we've got a box from Global Golf. <laughs> no, I think it's from Tim in... Tim in Georgia. I'm too good at covering up the addresses now. Here you go, you can have the reaction. Eyes closed. <laughs> Eyes closed, grab. There's a towel from the master. <laughs> oh, that is a cool colorway. Yeah, I really like that It's like color. the North Carolina or something like uh -huh. that. That is super cool. Got uh, some golf balls in here. The boulders. Haven't played there. No. Got a bunch of different courses. The Masters. True North. What else do we got in here? Got a, oh, that was pretty cool. Just like a old school, no uh, wording <laughs> Masters logo. You know what it is. Titleist Pro <laughs> one. All right, we got a letter and then, whoa. Wow. I feel like I'm going whoa too many times. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Couple woes. There are a ton of hats in yeah. here. Is that it? Cool. We got a, uh, our cat collection is growing very fast. <laughs> a uh, master's valuable pouch, nice. a master's hat, a true north hat. Nice. A tour championship hat. <laughs> that one's cool. Comcast business. I've never seen that one before. No. And uh, I think that's No Laying Up, their podcast. Is that what that is? There's a label right back here. Does it say? No, that's, no, that's the hat brand. It looks familiar. Yeah, you guys are gonna make fun of us. I think this is no laying up. I'm not Maybe really into. Say it as a note. Not really into podcasts, but that is super cool. We should start our own podcast. That would be interesting. Interesting. <laughs> All right. I am one of your 47,000 plus subscribers, like the rest of Stacked Golf Nation. I truly <laughs> like enjoy that. viewing your thr uh, your thrifting, club testing, and course challenge videos. I hope knee uh, John's knee gets better. Me too. Me too. Uh, I sent you some mis miscellaneous golfing odds and ends from the Masters. In closing, I enjoy seeing Tater Tot on camera. He's camera shy. Yeah, he's camera shy there. lately. In close are two pictures of my cats, Ooh, Arnie page. and Jack. Oh, that's awesome. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here's Arnie and Jack. That is pretty <laughs> dang cool. Yeah. That one's from uh, Tim in uh, Georgia. Yeah. Thank you for sending us. Very some cool. awesome uh, master stuff, <laughs> and then I apologize for not knowing that other logo, but we'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure that's the No Laying Up podcast. I think they're based out of, uh, is that the same people? I think they're based in Jacksonville. Oh, nice. Oh. And here you go, you can open this one. Cool. We got uh, from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> they think we smell. <laughs> Through the uh, TV. Yeah, you look like you smell. All right, this is from James in Massachusetts. James in Massachusetts. 
Oh, you're using the new uh, box I know. cutter? Testing it out. Uh, the pressure is so strong. It actually did work pretty well. That thing is pretty sweet. Yeah. If it prevents me from going to the hospital. Yeah, I will take it. Ooh, I need to order stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, I already see what it is. That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> Mickey oh. Golf, old school. Man, that you is... can tell how, yeah, that's old hat. Yeah, that is sweet. It still has a tag too. Dead stock? Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, it is, it's dead stock. <laughs> that is cool. That is awesome. I have a black one of these, but this one, it's dead stock. This thing is super cool. I think yeah. it's from the uh, Walt Disney course too. Mm-hmm. He found our videos a couple of months ago and have really been enjoying them. He was going through a few things and found that hat. He definitely sent it to the right place. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Wow, that's cool. He was also going through some of his grandfather's clubs and found a Spalding TP Mills 12 in great condition. So that's that cool. That is cool. Hopefully you really like that because obviously we really like TP Mills. Yeah, we are TP Mills fans <laughs> and Mickey Mouse <laughs> or awesome. Disney golf fans. Yeah. We have to head over there and do another video. That was mm -hmm. fun with the robot caddy. Yeah, and your new hat. Yep. That was Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy, for the uh, Mickey Mouse hat. Yeah. Wait, We're going to have to fight who uh, this is. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Cool. All right. And then the next one is from Rick in the Villages. All right. We had to move you over in the shade. The camera overheated yeah. and cut out right in the middle of this. We'll just start over. This is Rick from the Villages. Sent us a uh, package. I saw an episode where you found a Holy Grail bucket cap of uh, Goofy at the flea market. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. I hated Goofy what? Not especially. Not especially, but uh, uh, when he found this, he saw it was us, and he also has some stuff from the players. And uh, Rick from the Villages, P.S. Great, so listen to me. And uh, giving us a tip on where to uh, shop in the Villages. Nice. Sweet. All right, we'll save this, and then let's see what we got. All right, the camera is overheating like crazy, so hopefully we can get this one done and yeah. maybe go to a different spot. But it is a goofy head cover. <laughs> that is awesome. I know who's getting that. I'm going to be super jealous of Ashley walking around with that. Yes, but at least you get to look at it. Yeah. That's really cool. Thank I am you. super jealous of that. Oh, he's got another. Uh, oh, this is what he was talking about. TPC sawgrass etched. Whoa, it's like a bag tag. That That's is super really cool. cool. That is a CNC. I think it's an engraved uh, TPC sawgrass uh, bag tag there. Might have played there or something like that. Yeah. What else do we got in here? Got a, oh, a uh, divot repair tool. Always need one of those. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't been hitting too many greens lately, but <laughs> we'll uh, put that one to use. I and definitely the, this. <laughs> yeah. I think the camera is going to overheat. We might yeah. meet you at another spot. Oh. We'll risk it. We'll risk it for another one. Cool. This one is from... Andrea in Ohio. Sweet. Ooh, that was cool. Fancy. Yeah. Cool little case. Yeah, I think it's a shirt for Ashley. Yeah. Or a different color for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, got a note down there. Whoa, Whoa. that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Andrea from uh, Ohio sent us stacked golf. Like and subscribe. Yep, thumbs up. <laughs> Definitely be wearing that. Thank you. That's very got cool. A Thank note. you for thinking of us. Ugh. That was really cool. Yeah. All right. Hello. Here you go. It's for you, obviously. Ash, enjoy your shirt. I enjoy your YouTube channel and watching your golf game get great. Keep it up, girl. Love, Andrea from Cleveland, Ohio. Well, thank you very much. That is awesome. I'll take one more look at that yeah. one. Stack golf. Merch coming soon. <laughs> from Andrea. <Yeah. laughs> that is cool. Thank you so much yeah. for that. Let's see what we've got. I think we're moving on to the bigger ones. Yep. All right, let's go for, what is this one? This one I think came from Canada. Yep, uh, this one is from uh, New Brunswick. There's no name, but uh, New Brunswick province in Canada. Yep, this side up. This side up. All right, you trusting me? <laughs> Standing away. <laughs> Here we go, a Wilson. I think it's a Wilson Pro, yeah, Wilson Pro Staff Putter. This thing is sick. <laughs> it's like the uh, Titleist uh, Take Dead yeah. Aim. Or where, dead center. Yeah, it's got like that kind of a uh, uh, alignment aid at the bottom. Wilson Pro Stuff mallet. That thing is cool. Uh -huh. I think there's a couple other things in here. We got some <laughs> emoji golf balls. I think there's a note in there. Do you want to read that? Yeah. And I think this is just. Oh, there's another club in here. All right, this is from uh, Ben and Vanessa from New Brunswick, Canada. All right, they love the channel. 
we're always looking for golf equipment and bargains and these two putters came with some bags we uh, got and we thought of us so very cool that is awesome look at this old patty berg wilson putter yeah that one is for uh, you because it's easier to hit <laughs> the world's greatest oh, wait, putter no. wait that one the other way around the wilson is for you because it's easier to hit <laughs> so this and one the is world's for greatest me. putter can putt with anything yeah. very cool and the emoji golf balls. Yeah. Thank you to uh, Ben and what is it? Vanessa from New Brunswick, Canada. Thank you uh, for sending that all the way from Canada. Yeah, that's really awesome. Thank you. I don't know if I've ever been to New Brunswick. I think, uh, yeah, I've been to Prince Edward Island. You have to drive through there. Yeah, we need to go on a long road trip yeah. eventually. Long road trip coming soon. <laughs> oh, I just nailed you with that. All right, next one is from A. Wally in Texas. It's always just fun to watch you. Is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, I think it's another cylinder putter. No. <laughs> uh, dear John and Ashley, I'm so pleased to hear about your success with Stacked Golf. You have inspired me to look around and sell a few clubs. John, please accept this gift for your collection. I can't really figure out even how to hold it, but uh, our good thing, uh, you can putt with it right or left handed. My buddy calls it a Texas. Uh, what is it? I, my buddy calls it a Texas six shooter putter, but I guess it's really only five shots. <laughs> It's uh, Andrew from Texas. This looks like a uh, cylinder putter. Mm -hmm. We have a, a similar one that I put lights out with. The only putter that I'm actually decent with. Yeah, and then there's the nickel filled. Whoa! Oh, I see what it's talking a little bit about different. now. Yeah, this is a little bit different. It's a uh, five shooter. Well, that's pretty cool. And this is like the world's most fancy uh, rubber band. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to give that a try. Maybe Lamping. rubber band will help your game. Yeah, nothing can hurt it. <laughs> but uh, thank you to uh, Andrew for sending us a uh, cylinder putter. Yeah. My favorite. Wait, oh, we missed one. Oh no. Missed, uh, this is from Putt Rocks. Sounds like a company. Yep. Putt Rocks. Or a very interesting name. Yeah, very interesting name. What is your child, or your name your child? Putt Rocks. Putt Rocks. I would yeah. say they're the Putt Rocks. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, teamwork. All right, the best putter in the world deserves the best ball marker in the world, <laughs> a Putt Rock. It's a semi-precious stone. Here are a few ones you can use, and I can even give one to my dad. Uh, putt Rocks are on Etsy. We'll leave uh, their information in the description below. But this is pretty cool. Yeah. It is a uh, Norina Jasper putt rock. So it's like a ball marker. It's a precious stone. That is really cool. Monte yeah. sent us these. Clever idea. Yeah. Are there more in there? Oh, yeah. there's more in there. For your dad. That is pretty cool. I never thought about that. No. Precious stone ball markers. Oh, those are cool. Putt yeah. rocks. All right, what else do we got? You wanna go for the big daddy or this go. one? Go for that one. This one? Oh, no. Carefully, you shoot yourself with my putter. <laughs> I'm more worried about that. <laughs> I've been pretty good. You have been. This thing is awesome. This is a game changer it's for our unboxing. It's to watch a YouTube video on how to properly use it. But... I think I got the handle of it. <laughs> the handle of it. Uh, got puns for days. <laughs> All right, Ashley and John. This one's from Gordon in New Jersey. Thought you could try these out. Extreme X5 wedges. Guaranteed to be anti-shank. Well, I'll definitely put that to the test. Yeah. Take a look at how offset the club is to the shaft. It's got some information for it. Oh, your block boxes are flying <laughs> everywhere. No more shanks. <laughs> it's like the uh, F2 wedge. This thing is cool. Got all the information. Yeah, all the marketing. I love the marketing. Yes, <laughs> the claims. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. It is heavy. Oh, there's two. I was like, this is the heaviest <laughs> club ever. That's why you're not gonna shank it. Yeah, you can't even swing it. <laughs> All right, looks like there's a gunmetal one. Nope, just a weird, weird uh, angle. X5 Extreme Wedges, a 52 and 60 degree <laughs> tour grind. Nice. There we go, straight to the tour. One of them's got a graphite shaft, an eye drive. I think that's more for me. There we go. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. We'll uh, try and shank them for you. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, big box. Yep. I think that's the last one. And we'll head out to the course and try out all this stuff. There we go. There we go. Oh my. There are a ton of clubs in here. Let's see if I got them. Whoop. Oh, I almost got the car. <laughs> all right, put this one safely to the these? side. I have never seen these before. <laughs> you guys always like send things to yeah. stump John. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, here we go. We got a letter. Michael Conrad Johnson here. I send you all these clubs in memory of my friend Steve who passed away. Steve designed these clubs and also tooled them. Uh, 
sent you the tooling overseas and assembled after they came back. This is just one set of 40 sets that he sold and gave away. He said he wanted to design a club to take uh, away one side of the fairway out of the play. Um, let your dad play with them also. Definitely designed yeah. uh, with the old way of thinking. Hope uh, you enjoy these clubs. That is super cool. That's really cool. Yeah, they do look uh, kind of weird, but if they improve my game. Hey, if it works. Yeah, that is uh, cool. We'll be definitely going to uh, try these out and they were made by his friend. Yeah. Whoa. That was a really cool design. I wow. have literally never seen. No. It's got his name on there, the Exodus Golf. Yeah. Or Exodus Golf by Steve Ferrar. Ferrer. I have literally never seen a golf club like this. No. It almost looks like the uh, the hammer driver, the way that it's shaped, mm -hmm. but it's uh, not a driver. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> These are crazy. Yeah. They look like they'd be easy to hit, but I'll definitely put that one to the test. Yes. <laughs> it is a four through sand wedge. Oh, three. Three, three uh, through sand wedge. That is going to be fun to hit for sure. Yeah. These are pretty sweet. We're definitely going to give these a try. But oh, yeah. Thank you uh, to everybody who sent us stuff. We're going to head out to the course and yeah. try everything out, but lots of cool stuff. Sorry yes. about the technical difficulties with the camera. Nothing new here. Nothing new here. We'll meet you at the course. <laughs> all right, folks, made it out to the golf course. Excited to try all of this stuff out. Yeah. Last time we were here, we saw a uh, water moccasin cotton mouth on the uh, first hole, and I think we got it topped this time. There is a giant, well, not a giant, it's like an eight foot alligator. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's like right in the uh, the glare of the sun. It's right there. <laughs> He's sunbathing. Yeah, we'll uh, hopefully he'll let us uh, play through. Yes. But uh, Ashley's neck is still on the mend, so we're gonna do a little scramble with the uh, putter. Yeah. And I'm gonna uh, play from the uh, tee to the green. But exciting stuff. Yeah. Should be uh, test everything out. Yeah, I'm excited to test out those wedges and those irons. They look almost exactly the same as the wedges. Different company. <laughs> kind of strange. Interesting. But uh, first hole is about 380 yards. I'm gonna go with the three iron, then hopefully have a. Something less than a three iron left in. <laughs> oh. That's still rolling. Well, that definitely went a lot further than we were expecting. I think John was just trying to lay up before the bunkers, and it went way past the bunkers. So you should probably just have like a wedge left in, but Exodus yep. Golf. You need Interesting. to uh, try and find the other 40 sets. Yeah. Those cool. are pretty sweet. I think we got 140 yards left, pins yeah. in the back over a bunker. Cool. I have a feeling we're going to hit a wedge and another wedge out of that bunker. <laughs> Probably. Oh, it's right at it. I think that's on the right hand side of the green. Yeah, that was crazy. These things are really weird looking. They have a super high profile and I think it was supposed to uh, eliminate one side of the uh, the course and you definitely aren't going to slice these. They got a bunch of offset. <laughs> surprisingly good ball flight too yeah i'm pretty cool well i don't know if we're going to need to do a scramble after all because that's pretty much the closest i've ever hit it oh, on this yeah. hole especially for this pin location downwind landing on a down slope it stopped pretty yeah quick too. that stopped pretty quick and that ball doesn't even spin that much that's a uh, strix on soft feel Let's see if ashley can't start us off with the birdie the patty berg blade breaking a little bit to the right well that's good Oh, world's greatest putter started us off with the birdie. Yeah. We'll have to Try leave, that the, one out on the, yeah, leave the uh, five shooter for the next hole. <laughs> I think the uh, next hole is about 140 yards. So I'll probably go with a nine or an eight iron. Cool. Sweet. Nice putt. Thanks. World's greatest putter with a patty bird <laughs> and some turkeys. Oh, is that a bit? No, it's a crane. Aww, I, thought I thought that was, was a baby, baby turkey. <laughs> Oh, that's like a wicked bounce. Huh. That thing took a crazy bounce. I thought it was going in the hole for a second. We got an uphill putt. Hopefully one of us can make it. Well, that could be good. Break, break. Keep going. Oh man, that's straightened out. Well, luckily that's a tap in because you don't <laughs> want to rely on me for uh, putting. But luckily well, this is for birdie and we're secured for a par. Yep. I think you really like these types of putters though. Yeah, the cylinder putters. Whoa. That was crazy upright. Yeah, this thing's like straight up and down. Huh. Can't hurt. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, no words. <laughs> I thought that was going in. Man. Well, it felt good. Yeah. And I think it's a uh, pretty good uh, training aid because you really have to hit it <laughs> basically right the uh, width of the ball, but. Next hole is a uh, short par four. I think we're going with the three iron again. Hopefully have one of those wedges left in. Yeah. It's gonna be like a new driving iron. Right? 
Dang, still rolling. That thing went further than my driver the last time that we played here. Got a uh, awkward yardage. Luckily, I can't shank it from here. Okay. We'll go with the uh, 60 degree Exodus. Oh no, that was the other one. Look at these things. They look kind of the same. They're not the same brand or anything. No. Sent from different people. That's kind of funny. Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. We got the Extreme 5 Wedge or X5 cool. Tour Grind. Wow. Going on the tour. Tour grind, I'm going on the tour. Well, I tried to shank it, you can't shank it. <laughs> Actually, I hit it right in the middle. That's a first. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ashley is confident that she is gonna make the putt. She told me I have to go first so that we could use the uh, Wilson Pro Staff mallet. Well, just so you can make it on your own. A birdie on my own? <laughs> we'll see. Go, 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 go. I think that was dead straight. I just didn't hit it hard enough. Yep. All right, Ashley to end us off with a birdie. Nice. That thing felt pretty good. It kind of feels like a zebra putter, mm -hmm. but a little bit more solid. Cool design. Yeah. Smack her in the back. Oh, oh man. Like my specialty, and then I didn't make it. Yeah, well, at least I got to tap in for par. <laughs> but uh, that's going to do it for us. Hopefully, you guys did like this video. Thank you to everybody who sent us all of that cool yeah. stuff. Lots of cool stuff today. So, uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.